As a stay-at-home mom, I made... Hi guys, I'm Casey. I am Crochet with Casey and I'm so excited. I am a stay-at-home mom and we are going to talk about everything I made so far in the first seven months of this year. As a stay-at-home mom, if you are a stay-at-home mom, you know how guilty you can feel not bringing in an income even though you are hard at work by cleaning, cooking, taking care of the kids, doing so much, running all the errands and everything. I still wanted to do more, so I turned my hobby into a business, actually with the idea and the help of my husband. I also want to add in here that this is not including the actual yarn I'm buying. This is just the materials that I'm using <laughs> being sold already because I um, have a yarn addiction. It's pretty bad. And I'm okay with it because like the, it's, it's freaking cute yarn. Okay, in the month of January, I had no markets. I didn't start doing any markets until March. I made a total of $183 net income. So that's before anything. This was right after Christmas. It was actually the height, uh, October to December was like the height. I barely started getting like fully involved with my business and then I just exploded somehow on Etsy even though I was set up on Etsy from July until then. And I don't think I got my first order until probably October. <laughs> but you know what, you have to start somewhere. And uh, the fees that I had with Etsy are 6.5% and then another 3% your actual setup like the item that you're selling and then the other I think the 3% is with shipping and then again I think 20 cents goes with shipping and then 25 cents is per listing um, I could be wrong on that I am gonna put it here so you can see but I had $37.11 um, in fees and then I had $92.93 in shipping so my profit comes down to a whopping $52.96. I was so excited about, I'm so so happy about it with the fees that's also including materials, but you know what, that $52 went straight back into materials. Now with February, no more high from the holidays. I think I only got maybe two orders, possibly three, but I had $21.92 in sales and $13.61 in fees, so processing fees, normal Etsy fees, and materials. Um, with shipping, I paid $17.02, so I had a profit of negative $9.29. Bummer, but that's okay, because <laughs> there's always ups and downs. Your business is gonna fluctuate, and you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. It's gonna happen when it happens started going back up because they did markets in March and markets is where it's at. I love Etsy. I love being able to sell on Etsy, but being in person is so much better. If you are a crochet artist or a different kind of artist and thinking about doing markets, go do it. It's amazing. I wish I didn't have to stop as early as I did, um, but I am very thankful for the opportunity that I have. So I was able to stop as early as I did and I'm so excited, but we'll talk about that in a different video. <laughs> sales, I had $700 in sales. We're getting into the markets, fees is still like materials, processing, um, and taxes, but this is including food, booth, and gas. Um, but I did still have a couple orders on Etsy, so I had $17.44 in shipping fees and I had two markets that month, which is amazing. Profit that month was $476. Now brings us to April. April was my biggest month. It was also the month that I did consecutively a market every single weekend, which my hands were cramping. So I had a whopping $1,730 in sales but with fees, so gas, booth, food, taxes, processing fees, everything, you name it, except for shipping, um, was $668. Not gonna lie, I was probably spending $60 every single day on food, so my fees didn't have to be as high as they were, and I don't regret it. My husband was with me, we both had like a little nice lunch date, um, 
afterwards and it was great. And shipping was only $18.95. I think I had possibly two orders that month, maybe three. Um, I should have wrote those down. I did have four markets. Whoa. So my profit after everything was $1,042 and I am so thankful about that. In May, I had $757 in sales. I had three markets. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'm gonna straight up tell you, one of the markets was a great experience. I loved it. The people there were so nice and it was great, but I lost a lot of money um, going to this market because um, there was no booth fee, but it was pretty far away. It was all really hyped up and everything. Um, so I did a huge giveaway gift and I lost like $113. So that is included in this fees, which is including everything that I was losing at $389. Then shipping, I had two orders. It was $8.55 for shipping. And so I had a whopping total of $359. It would have been a little bit more than that, but you know what? Like that's still pretty good. During those months were the months that I was making pretty decent money by going to markets. May, I only did three markets. Um, and so June, I stopped doing markets. I, it was like a huge thing for me to stop doing markets. They have been so much fun, such a community, getting out there. If you're a stay at home mom, you know how stuck you can be in the house. And so it was really hard for me, but I had a massive opportunity um, to go to this massive market that is happening in the fall. If you want to know more about that, I will make another video. Probably gonna make one anyways. I only had Etsy. I made $37.83, which was pretty cool. It picked up a little bit, which was only two orders. But after fees, I the fees were $4.74 and shipping was $6.33. I had a profit of $26.78. So now we come to July. In the middle of July, I shut my Etsy down. I knew with the amount of product that I need to be making for this market, I could not run my Etsy, even though I was getting two orders. Um, I was worried with all the free tutorials and the new patterns coming out that I'm doing here on YouTube, that somebody would see it on my Etsy and be wanting to buy them, which, I would be so thankful for, but I'm only one person. I can't crochet as much as I need to for everybody. So I shut my Etsy down, and so I had listing fees of a dollar, shipping from the month before. I don't know why it didn't come out until then, but it was a dollar sixty-five. It says I currently have a profit of 65 cents, but I'm also like a negative balance of like $5.85, so I'm going to be negative for July, but like go figure. That is everything that I made. Let's do the whole summary. Sales. For the first seven months, I made a net income of $3,429. After fees, which again is gas, booth, food, processing, taxes, um, giveaway, things like that, was a total of $1,318.46. Shipping, I had a total of $162.87, which in all honesty isn't that bad. When I was seeing it come out uh, the year prior with October, November, and December for Christmas, like ouch like i didn't know how to price things yet i didn't know that i was supposed to be making the customer pay for shipping i thought i just did free shipping and then i would forget to add it into my price and it like you you grow you get smarter and then profit of a total of one thousand nine hundred and forty eight dollars and ten cents so far and i am so excited about that i know that with this market i am hoping to sell out, if not get really, really close to selling out. I'm trying to make things that were favorites um, at all of my other markets and favorites online. Um, and I'm trying to get ideas from you guys so I can kind of get it to know what other people would like. But if you want to know more about that market, let me know. But as a stay at home mom, 
I made $1,948.10 with a small business that I am barely getting off the ground and I am pretty dang excited about it. It's not a lot, but it's something and I cannot wait to see where this business is going to take me. And make sure you guys like and subscribe so I can make some more content with more free tutorials on crochet patterns, hauls. If you guys want to know more about how much I make, how much I'm going to make, the breakdown of how many actual plushies I've made so far this last month, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and comment below what you'd like to see.